Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. Previously on Full Throttle Saloon. Okay, you can pick no a different Angie then. What the hell? A destructive feud raged on. I need one you minute. to get the out of my way. We need another Angie. Suck my Jesse. She's off the chart. I mean, the needle is on, bitch. Michael hired some competition for flaunt. I am the perfect angel. I definitely get the feeling the local girls don't like us. Just as they were about to go on stage. We're not ready. We're not there yet. And the throttle finished day three of the rally on top. We had more people here than they had over there. Yeah. Don't go set up cross the road for full throttle saloon. You'll get your <laughs> Tonight. Well, I knew the Perfect Angel's gonna be here at the bar. Flaunt gets fired up. If the Perfect Angels get to perform, we would just walk. That is complete disrespect. I'm turning Angel Land into Meatball Land. Shut up. Jesse puts even more heat on Angie. Get off. I run this place, not you. Come here, we'll tell you something. And Michael drops a bombshell. You sure you want to do this? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what in the hell is that guy thinking? On Full Throttle Saloon. Stinks like a son of a bitch. How do y'all stay in? Did y'all stay in here last night? Yes, we did. y'all contribute in any way to this damn smell? Yeah. With Brett Michaels coming in on Wednesday night, I mean, it's important for us to have a good show, and you know, everything needs to be in tip top shape. And <laughs> that dressing room, it smells like Fido's ass. How do y'all, how do y'all even stand? How are you even sitting in here right now? <laughs> damn, it stinks in here so bad. Where's Scott at? So I saw him walking that way. Right Scott, what are we doing with that dressing room? It smells like Fido's ass. I mean, seriously, it's bad. I mean, it smells like damn somebody died twice over in there. I don't think Scott really understands how important it is that that dressing room get fixed up. I mean, and that odor has got to go. It's getting taken care of. It's getting. I mean, worked seriously, at. I know I'm we said serious. that yesterday. It's getting still worked at. Like well, you know, I, it's not funny. This place. I mean, it's it's like it's toxic. Goddamn, Brett Michaels. He, the dude was just laid up with an aneurysm. I don't want him to die because he walks in that room. Seriously, I mean, it's embarrassing. I mean, I can't have him walk into this. That's the only place that I got to, for them to hold up. It's getting done. I can't say it anymore. You know. Well, I mean, I'm just so we'll have the same conversation tomorrow. Maybe we will. No, we can't. I mean, we, I'm telling you. Don't let me deal with it. You just can't yell at me and make, make snap my fingers and have it done. I'm working on it. There's a lot at stake here. I hope like hell he's got it together for Brett Michaels. I mean, it's going to be a big night. I gave the flying girls a quota to hit this year on alcohol sales. They got their own big, huge bar right in the center of the complex. If they hit their quotas, then I'm giving them a bonus. But Michael and Angie noticed that despite the huge crowd, last night's take at the flaunt bar was way below normal. Flaunt girls, like, they're not on the flaunt bar the whole time. But, I'm like, but what the are you? Dance with Billy. Yeah, yeah I know. The flaunt girls went on stage with Billy Ray Cyrus after our performance. It was completely unplanned. Here's what happened about three songs or so into Billy Ray's set, she come up, Michael. I guess Billy Ray asked us to come up for one number. Do you want us to go up for it? That's up to y'all, whatever y'all want to do. And I said, that's up to you. Meaning that you don't ring my registers, forget the bonus. You decide you want to stay up here all week and hang out, you stay up here and hang out. So if she don't hit the numbers she wants to hit, it's her own fault, not Mike Ballard's fault. You hear me? There's been episodes in the past where the girls have been backstage when they should have been working. So I'm, at this point, I've kind of just thrown in the towel. I'm just saying, I'm just laying that on the line.
Welcome this morning, Full Throttle. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Church's 70th anniversary. It's a big year, an even bigger year for this next couple here. All over Surges every year, people are getting married, you know, but uh, there's so many people now that are focusing on making sure the full throttle is the place they tie the knot. I had, had the honor of, of being asked for me to perform the ceremony. I am an ordained minister. And you'll notice Kathy is being given away by our little leprechaun Paul here because she's going to need all the luck that she can get. However, I will be honest, he was supposed to be a Cupid but he has not been to bed yet after staying up all night long partying at the Full Throttle in his leprechaun outfit. We're going to join these two here in holy matrimony at the Full Throttle Saloon. I vow to love you as much as I love my leather. I vow to love you as much as I love my leather. And ride you as much as I do my bike. Ride you as much as I do my bike. I ask you to please kiss the bride. I'm a minister. I practice ministry, dentistry, and rock and roll. Ah! Hello? Hey. You know, Angie's on a short fuse this week. She's got a lot on her mind. Not only is she dealing with the full throttle stuff and all the crap that I throw at her, but she's also having really serious problems with the flaunt girls this year. You know, Billy Ray Cyrus is a huge connection for us. I know. I know. And we have the connection without being up on stage for a couple songs. Without, without you knowing what the whole... I know what the situation was, Brianna. I kept looking over and asking myself, where the f*** are my girls? But we were all working really hard. Brianna. We were all working really hard. I... I am not an idiot. Just using common sense. We have eight days to make money. We are not making money up on stage hanging out backstage. I wasn't hanging out backstage. I was not hanging out backstage. Okay. We really worked so hard last night. And then to hear from her that all we were doing was messing around backstage was just crap. I would have never done it had I felt like what do you think, Brianna? He's how many times has he hounded into us? I need you on your bar. I need you on your bar. I need you on your bar. What do you think the right decision would be in that? If those girls are up there performing, then they're not selling his liquor. And the whole name of the game is to sell Michael's liquor. And you let me finish. Let me finish. That breathing fire. Obviously not, or it would be number one priority not to be up on stage performing with Billy Ray Cyrus, but to be back at the bar trying to ring that till. But all this going on, Thursday night's going to come up on them so fast. Ron Spaulding is going to be standing out there from Universal, and they're going to be looking at each other like, do I put my right foot in front of my left? Since you I were mean, if they embarrass is, uh, uh, themselves, it's going to be a shame. I built these girls up to be the next big thing, and if they're falling apart, I'm gonna have to save face. We normally ring you know a $5,000 you know till. Our highest till so far is $1,600. I'm not gonna explain it to anymore. You're not gonna believe me, which is not cool to me, but whatever. I'm gonna watch them tonight, and I'm gonna watch them tomorrow night, and I'm gonna stop. I'm just, I mean, they are gonna seriously, because I'll pull the plug on Thursday. I swear to God, I'll pull the plug on Thursday. I said 4 o'clock. Me and you can set in on it. I have a photo shoot at 4 o'clock that well, you volunteered me well, for, I'll push, for Steve. I'll push Steve back to 4.30, and we'll knock that out. Is that okay with you, Jesse? Because I might be a little hour later, so on Angie Land. But you're still not going to be after 9 o'clock again, are you? And, and, and if I swing by there, if I'm talking with her, I, where's Angie? When's Angie Land coming out? I just, I just hate to see people standing out there. They, they got cameras in their hands waiting on Angie Land, and they were seriously out there for more than two hours waiting on you to get up there. It kills me to look up there and see Angie Land empty. She's not there. How can people, you know, enjoy Angie Land? She's not up there. Coming up. I'm turning Angie Land into meatball land. Shut up. Jesse finds a replacement for Angie. It's called meatball land. Get off. I run this place, not you. Plus. Got him to check for bodies. With Brett Michaels on his way. Are you kidding me? The green room still not passing the smell test. This is stupid. Man, it stinks. And later. We will walk across the street. Mike lights a fire under the flaunt girls. 
If the perfect angels get to come up here and perform, we would just walk. With the big flaunt audition looming, Michael and Jesse hatch a plan to snap flaunt into shape. What I should do is put the Perfect Angels in on that stage yeah. and turn it loose. The Perfect Angels, they've been doing Harley stuff for years, and they're great, good-looking girls. I mean, they all know how to dance. They're professionals, and I love having them up there on the bars kicking ass. They're energetic. They're happy all the time. There's no bull with them. Back in the earlier days, the Perfect Angels did the shows before Flaunt came along, and the local girls do not like it. Why don't we send them to you're, at some point, you'll put them on the main stage, too. Or maybe Thursday. I'll bring them out on our show Thursday. I got a whole set. I got a whole set. If push comes to shove, I have no doubt that we could put Angie up there with the girls from the Perfect Angels and they could pull it off. What's the story with getting worked up to get ready for Thursday night? I don't know. I tried to tell him last night that we should probably consult you on it well, since it's your dude. <laughs> We're going to be regretting a lot. I mean, y'all can't be going out. Y'all are just cussing each other out. You're supposed to be over dancing and having fun tonight? And what we do on stage is completely different, I'm Jesse. Just, you know that. You've know, been on stage. I... You can have the worst day in your life and go put on the best performance you've ever put on. Yeah, so it yeah, does not yeah, reflect no. yeah, what yeah, our yeah. performance yes, is going to yes be. Yes and no. But at the end of the day, it, there is a big difference. If you're enjoying what you're doing and y'all are up there getting along, but I mean, this here that we're hearing it just makes me think that we're, we're going to be on Thursdays, especially if y'all are backstage, y'all aren't talking to each other, you're not having fun, it's not, I don't know, it's just it, about booking Jesse, it. I can promise you that that will, you'll never see me upset with Brianna on stage. 90% <laughs> of my time that I'm around Brianna, I am upset with her, and I promise you do not see that on stage. I'm putting my ass on the line for Angie and the Flocks. It's a good looking hog here. A lot nicer, it's more uniform. It's gonna turn out my best one so far. Hey, it's Stone and Double T live in Sturgis. It is the Full Throttle Saloon. Every day's a party out here. It's only Tuesday, but it's Marshall Tucker Day. Great classic rock stuff. Loving this weather for uh, the rally. You know what, it's a little warm, but the breeze is rolling through. I have nothing that I can serve right now. Nothing. Everything's warm. I'm hearing we're having ice issues already. Yeah, we're gonna be out. I should just go send a truck or try to get some block ice delivered. Blocks would be great. Some block stuff. It'd be it's cheaper. Yep. And it lasts a lot longer. Our barbacks have kind of abused the ice system that we had. They didn't listen. Now we're running out of ice and I'm gonna have to go buy ice and that's a real expensive bill. I got some cleaning supplies and, you know, trying to get whatever that stink was that was in, uh, in, the, in the room. We got a big problem with our dressing room. It smells like cat urine. The people that are supposed to help me are, like, doing all the running and stuff. So and I'm supposed to solve it, as always. It's full throttle style. Just get it done. That green room, which should be called a brown room, is, I mean, it's, it's rancid. There's a bobcat that lives under there, a big son bitch. Okay. You gotta get that smell out of that dressing room. Okay, have you got some candles? Some, like, see, can we get some candles and burn in there? It's gonna take more than candles. It needs a steam cleaner. I think them cats have been living under there all winter is what's wrong with it. There's a dead son of a bitch underneath there is what it smells like. I mean, it's bad. Yes, it's, I mean, tell him to check for bodies. Unfortunately, there's been a bobcat living under the stage, I guess probably all year since we left last year. And uh, the, so the band room smells like urine. Maybe throw some mothballs under there, go get something and put it and get to start to just to kill that stain. I'm gonna get Scott to crawl in there and see if he sees that bobcat. <laughs> All right, later. Okay, bye. That's you shouldn't have told him about it. You should have just said, yeah. I'd love to see his ass get mauled by a bobcat. Damn, that'd be funny for a minute. I don't know why I have to go check for bobcats underneath the stage. Are you, are you kidding me? If I get bit, someone better be rushing me to a hospital. That's all I got to say. This is stupid. Man, it stinks. Kitty, 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 kitty. 
Hey! Yeah! Ah. Yeah! Done. This. I'll minus the startup cash, so that was 300. And then you just side right here. Plant is my priority, but when it's rally week, like then the throttle becomes my number one priority. So do you want a bar back tonight? As Angie deals with staff, word of a perfect angel show reaches Flaunt. It's been talked about that the perfect angels, they might perform up on this stage. <sighs> wow. I know, fun, huh? Well, before the rally, Michael had mentioned something in passing that, oh, you guys are going to have a little bit of competition this year. Well, I knew the perfect angel's going to be here at the bar, but the way that he put it was leading into they're possibly going to be on stage performing. Brianna offers to confront Michael about the angels. Okay, so if if I'm going to talk to Michael, says something about the perfect angels. Um, I guess what are your guys' feelings about performing? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll walk. So if the perfect angels are to perform on on stage as night as, as well as us, we're gonna walk. We would not have a problem across the street, down the street, that way. We will walk across the street and work the rest of the rally out there. They've kind of become a good draw. If they don't perform, then I'll get in the middle of it. They're here to make money for me. That's the bottom line of it. This is our home, and this is what we call home. And for them to do that, it's completely disrespectful. It's about what's right and the principle. And so to have the threat of another dance team being able to come up here and do their thing is just something that I don't feel is right. If they perform, we will walk across the street or down the street, and we will dance for somebody else. Up. No, I did not. Kevin. No, I did not. Yes, We've done did that too, every single year. I know. You walk away from me. That is complete disrespect. And later, you sure you want to do this? Michael makes a major decision about Angie. Look out! <laughs> Wanted to take you down and get some cowboy outfits. This be this being out here in the Dakotas. I think you guys need a 10-gallon hat just so you can walk tall, <laughs> right? Jesse reckons his outlaw beer will sell better if his salesmen are dressed more appropriately. There you go. <laughs> Midget's coming through. Look out. Future Cowboys of America coming through. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is going to hurt. Here we go. Oh. Beep, beep. <laughs> we want to look like a I got cowboy. some cowboys here. They don't look like it now, but when you get through with them, <laughs> I need the tallest hats that you got. <laughs> Let me see. There we go. Wait a minute. We may be going in the wrong direction here. There we go. go. <laughs> That's great. I love it. I feel like a complete ass, but I'm a team player. I'll do what it takes. said something about it like it possibly would happen. He kind of led into that. We've been completely loyal to Michael, and so to come up here as Perfect Angels at the Full Throttle Saloon when we are Full Throttle flaunt, that's not okay. And I understand that like, it may be just straight business to him, but that's what he's expected of us. He's expected us to be loyal, and I don't know why he would ever question it, because we've always been there to do anything that he needs. It hurts the girls' morale, and now they're all fired up, and I don't know how to make them think any differently. You know, you come to Sturgis, and you, there's just certain things you expect. You don't expect to get a fajita. One, two, three, four. It's going good. I don't think we've had a dry spell. And that'll come up to $24.96. It will be $13.52. $12.48. I knew it was going to be busy, but it's busier than what I anticipated. What about for you? You want a beef or a chicken? Chicken. Chicken. What I like to call money days. Thank you. I can't even fathom the numbers, man. I just know it's nonstop with the fajitas, and that's when Michael makes his money. So thankful you came and stopped at the fajita stand today. Thank you very much.
Oh my God, look at this. I wear the same long handles. And they, look at they got the trap door. <laughs> to change your diaper. You got a hoster and some guns. Yeah, I'm naturally a metal head. I've got the gothic makeup, black trench coat, and this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Man, we, we would be sold out of beer right now. You know, it's Jesse James beer. It's America's outlaw beer. And I got some little outlaws. People love to buy a, a cold beer from a midget. You ever owned a pair of cowboy boots? Nope. I'm a metalhead. <laughs> <laughs> He's late every day and lies about it. off, Tom. There's a difference in opinion between me and Rocky, and she's been real abrasive with not only customers, but staff. Just a little bit more communication, because it's frustrating, but well, why do you have a radio if you can't talk back? Things between Pat and I are not, we're not getting along, obviously. I think we're having communication problems. That's being an issue. Yeah, it's, it's not going well. A friend of mine passed away a couple months ago and I had some reaction. Sorry. And thank you. But there are a few places out here I'm doing and okay. she loved full throttle okay. and all her life. So okay. I wanted, to, I wanted to get permission to scatter some stuff in the infield so I figured we'd be happy of you. It, that's the first time that's ever happened. And for somebody to make that kind of a request, I mean, it's beyond <laughs> anything I could even say. I need all of your help right now. We're going to pay tribute to somebody right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Derek, a true brother of the throttle. Two months ago, he lost a girlfriend in a tragic accident, and she asked to be spread at the Full Throttle Saloon. Front row for the rest of eternity. Our glasses are raised, my friend. To all of our fallen brothers and sisters, God bless y'all, keep safe. Cheers to you, my friend. Thank you. No worries. I need some help. I got a guy over here. Keep the crowd in there. What is it? What did he say? I need some help over here. There's a guy. Keep the crowd in there. I told the guy to leave the property. Now I'm not sure where it went. I don't know if he left or not. Everybody keep your eyes peeled for a dude in a straw cowboy hat. He's getting aggressive with some of the girls. The girls are upset. They feel like everything that they're doing is wrong. I mean, maybe I'm just delirious and I don't know what I'm talking about. They feel like everything has been like, you guys suck, you guys suck, you guys suck. I've never one time said you suck. I think that the Perfect Angels are gonna perform. The flaunt girls have a problem with the Perfect Angels. It's like any other competition in business that's out there. They wanna be the spotlights. So there's going to be a little bit of head button going on there. I'm serious. There's problems right now. Well, the girls are upset first because Michael had mentioned I'm bringing in the Perfect Angels and they're possibly going to be on stage performing. And then secondly, we weren't doing good enough. We weren't putting our effort in. When we really feel like we've been doing all we can to make Michael happy. None of these problems would be occurring right now had everyone been back at the bar. That's why I asked Michael. I told you. I asked Michael. But you knew I yourself without even having to I ask him. Without even no, having I to ask not. him. No, I did not. Yes, We've you done did that too, Brianna. every single year. I know, and that's what makes it so hard for me to get us to come Don't. back here. Yeah, can't we have just a normal discussion about it? I've already Without had this discussion with you, Brianna. Angie, stop. I was just having a discussion with you. You walk away from me. That is complete disrespect. I'm sorry. Coming up. The back parking lot down by the cabin. One customer gets extra attention. We oh. told you to leave. You came back in. And later. There is no. Jesse and Angie are headed for another showdown. Let's just say it's gonna hit the fan. Oh, by the way, Andy 
you said her ass is the most photographed? Yeah. My ass, ass is all over YouTube. <laughs> Literally. She told me to find the ass that could replace her. You've got the gig. I mean, if she's not going to take the time to get up there and do what she's supposed to be doing, I'm going to make it happen some other way. If she's not up there, you've got the gig. I ain't gonna sit on no dudes' heads. Yeah, but why not? I'll sit on chicks' heads, not no dudes. Damn, I'm just proud to know that you like girls. <laughs> I'm gonna call right now, and I'm gonna have a sign made that says Meatball Land. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the rallies, I've been to a lot of rallies all over the U.S., I wanted to come to the granddaddy of them all, and this is it. I would love to see a bar like this in Arkansas. <laughs> I really would. Our barbacks have kind of abused the ice system that we had. They didn't listen. That's a real expensive bill. It, it adds up to a lot of money for freaking frozen water. There's your ice. One check for that. There's the two receipts. That's one I just picked up. Damn it, I hate that fight. I know, there's 2,700 bucks. There's always these obstacles that constantly happen and usually has to do with employees just not putting forth and using some common sense to make things take place here. I don't want your bikes, man. Well, then open up another section for bikes. I don't care, put them up here behind my office in some of that area. I don't care, just find chunks of land here and there for bikes. Just put them, let them park anywhere they want to go park. Let's don't turn anybody away for nothing. This is a damn time to make money. Can we get something figured out with Rocky? She's running customers off, pissing customers off, pissing. She is getting a little abrasive with them. Yeah. Back them up. This is entrance. That's the exit. You guys know the drill. She's little. telling the guys that I brought up here that know what they're doing with security that she's going to fire them. Well, I guess there's some security issues. It's a lot of people's poking her chest out. I guess Rocky's one of the main ones because she's kind of being a some of the customers. I'll dive into the middle of it in the morning with her and see what's going on with her. She got a, she got a little out of control down there. I, I'll talk to her. Listen, Angie's been dragging ass, right. getting up on Angie Land. Right. You know what, it's after eight. I'm turning Angie Land into Meatball Land. Shut up. Come help me go. When people come to the Full Throttle Saloon, they expect to see the whole kit and caboodle, and I'm talking about Angie's ass up on that stage being Angie Land. How can people, you know, enjoy Angie Land? She's not up there. Not to mention that the sales are through the because she's not up there selling. Angie. We've got to make every single day count. Whatever it is that's going on with Jesse and Angie, let's just say, it's gonna hit the fan. Hold that over there. Dude, we're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, right, let me start with this end. Can you reach up there and do this? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. That's good. Well, I guess we got a new thing going on right now. It's called the Meatball Land. There is no more entry land tonight. It Step up, get your picture made with Meatball's ass. He's got, he's taking over. Right there is the most photographed ass. Meatball's so sauce. Oh, yeah. Woo! That, that ain't even right. Angie knew that I was on a hunt to find another ass to replace her with. Come on down. <laughs> and to piss her off even more, we were pushing Jesse James beer. Jesse James beer. The beer's good. Hell, I told Goat to go tell Angie. I mean, I figured it would motivate her, especially knowing that we were making good use of that stage and she wasn't. What's happened to your land, to Angie land? We'll Jesse put a sign up there that said Meatball Land, and the meatball's up there on your bar selling drinks. Jesse's a dickhead. Jesse just can't lay off me. I don't know if it's a man thing. I don't know if it's a rock star thing. I really don't care. What I care about is him just leaving me the crap alone. Dick. I know what I'll do. I'm gonna go put fawn outfits on all them guys. You're gonna be up on Angela and you better dress like her. Go get him, Angela. Coming up.
This is not going to happen. The clock's ticking. For God's sakes. And the flaw girl threatened to walk. What the f is that? They're not going on. Then. Come here, we'll take something so you know what's up. Michael drops a bombshell. What in the hell is that guy thinking? I went and got Meatball, <laughs> you did. and I put him up there, and he was selling Jesse James beer, sitting on heads, doing the whole thing. She came up, she mattered a damn guinea, and was like, you, Jesse, you, Jesse. She ran Meatball off so fast from her, he was afraid she was going to claw his eyeballs out. individual had been harassing some of the bartenders. He was asked to leave, he became more aggressive and more uh, confrontational with us. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Sit on your ass. Oh, oh. We ended up having to hold him there for a little while until uh, Meade County responded. I didn't go anywhere. We told you to leave, you came back in. No, I didn't. I was walking away. No, you walked back on. You walked back on the property. We just got done talking to you about this, dude. Let me go. Stand up. Let's go. Yeah, we asked him to leave, and then he chose to get off. Let's go. Come on. All we want is people to behave themselves, and they come up to the party at Sturgis, have a good time. And uh, we sent him on his way with the officers, and the officers gave him a ride home. I have a schedule up. That's my schedule. Last night we ran early. Now tonight, I'm already half an hour off. I still got to try to get flaunt on. Scott has just a few minutes to get Flaunt on stage, since Marshall Tucker has a firm deadline. They have to go on at 10.30, because they have early flights, and they, they said they're not playing late. But Flaunt's status is still uncertain. I had heard from Brianna that supposedly the Angels were supposed to go up on stage, and of course, immediately, I want to get a meeting going to talk about the Angels going up and us not going up. Why are you guys asking him about perfect angels? We've decided, Michael, you want him so bad, let's have him. What the f is that? What's up, full throttle salute? Come on! Can you believe it's only Tuesday night? Can you believe this? I told you that you guys are family. There's only one thing I do with family, and that's drink. So uh, I got to see Flaunt. I mean, this is the routine that they totally bumbled the other night. But 
it was a cl total cluster <laughs> with the way they were losing I, their well, I, they were losing their outfits and they, I mean, it was just I just want to make sure and see what's going on because Thursday night they they got to be on. The flock girls have retreated back to the dressing room having one of their little meetings. You know they they've been at each other all day. They're not going on. This is not going to happen. We need to make this happen. Put that aside and make this happen for for all of Flaunt. Michael hired the perfect angels in this year. Um, not as the perfect angels. He hired them in as bartenders and go-go dancers, that kind of thing, not to go up on stage to perform. Suck it up. Let's go rock it. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. God sakes. And I got Jesse telling me I got this coming at this time, this time, and they all want it done just like this. I gotta put flaunt on. We're not gonna do contest? No, I gotta put flaunt on. You want, you want that? Yeah, flaunt's gotta go on. I bet you want to do the contest. No, no contest. I got you on. It was, about, it was about two seconds. You guys were gonna get kicked off. Let's go. There's a lot of pressure on them, and I mean, different people respond different ways, you know, to pressure. really need to pull some things together and we need to be perfect and we're not even close to being there. There's dances that haven't been cleaned up and I feel like we have to push ourselves in order to get to that national act level like we want. I'm concerned. We're just a couple of nights away from the president of Universal coming in to check them out and as much as Angie thinks that they can turn it on and be professional when they're up there, I mean they're just mentally they're all over the place. I've got to address it tomorrow. Coming up. Maybe they could uh what? Angie! Michael and Angie's relationship takes a dramatic turn. The throttle's never gonna be the same. Marshall Tucker tonight. The weather was beautiful today. It was Tuesday, and uh, everything was great, and we had a pretty decent crowd tonight. 
Mike, I'm across the street. There's maybe 300 cars per crew. Wow, that's not good. 300 cars. Where? At for Creed. <laughs> no way. That's what he just said. For Creed. Oh Pretty my rest. God. Oh, I can't imagine. You're killing. Can you imagine what what that would be like to put that kind of an investment into something? I couldn't imagine being that big of a production, that big of bands, and that big of everything, and. We worked so hard and put so much effort, everything I own into this business. It's just wonderful to know that we kicked our ass. You gotta kill it. Start running, it's 158. 158, and we need to clear everybody out of the way. Please, please, please. I bet it's gonna be pretty busy tomorrow with Brett Michaels being here. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Come here, I'm gonna tell you something so you know what's up. So I'm gonna ask Angie to marry me on Thursday night. All right, on stage. <laughs> but not, not during your show, but maybe before it or whatever. Is what about that? When I told Jesse about Angie and I maybe getting married, he kind of had this long pause for a minute. I'm not sure what was running through his head. You sure you want to do this? I don't know. <laughs> Don't talk me. <laughs> don't talk. Yeah, I don't put it out there. How about this? Write me a check for half of everything you own right now. All right, I'm let's just practice. Let me just, let's just practice it. I've been anticipating Mike Ballard pulling me off to the side to tell me he's about to make this big move with Angie for quite a while now, and I can never get past thinking to myself, what in the hell is that guy thinking? Are you sure you're gonna do it? I'm, I'm just letting it out there. I don't know yet. Angie's been the most supportive girl I've ever been with in my life. I'm 45, and you know, she's the perfect girl for me, hands down. I'm proud for you, dude. All right, buddy. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll make a big deal. We'll make a big deal. We'll roll it. We'll All right. Think about it, how you want to do it. All right. Good night. It's inevitable that Michael Ballard's about to get a wake up call because when he steps into that arena of marriage, look out. A pow! I would have liked a better reaction, but at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I want to do. I always have. I mean, he's my friend. No matter what obstacles come between us or around us or wherever, we're going to we'll work our way through all of them, you know? What we'll probably have to do is just get through that tomorrow and then maybe... Hey, they... I'm right here and you're both sandwiching me. Maybe they could... Uh, what? I don't know what she's saying. And then Angie, what is she talking about? What'd she say? I don't know. I was over here on my phone and she just wigged up. Her little fuse sure is short these days. And you're gonna marry her. The throttle's never gonna be the same. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. Brett Michaels, that guy's a star. Brett Michaels is in the house. I have Brett Michaels to do tonight and they have a cannon in front of the stage. What the but he may not take the stage. At this point right now, he is not going on. Plus, five bucks a head. Michael charges at the door. Dude, don't do this. And it backfires. If there's a line like this, that probably won't come back.